So at school, I was someone that enjoyed a lot of different subjects rather than ever having one particular passion. And I think that that left me feeling really unsure about what career I should pursue because it felt a lot like you had to pick one direction and leave everything else behind, which was challenging for someone like me because there was never one clear direction. But that changed, I suppose. In the start of year 11, I went to a careers fair and saw a lecture on the economics of happiness. Before that time, I think my perception of economics was pretty negative. I thought that it was something that was really dry and really lifeless and also something that was really masculine, I think just by virtue of the fact that I'd never heard of a female economist. Uh, but this lecture basically flipped my perception of all of that. The lecturer was basically applying maths and logic, which were things that I really loved, but using them to answer questions that were really philosophical and about human behaviour and relationships. And that's something that I'd never seen done before. And he was also using a lot of creativity in how he was displaying all of the information in graphs. And then there was also a really clear focus on clear communication skills in how he presents that information to the audience. So this made me realise that there was this subject that intersected all these other subjects that I really loved but had never considered might overlap. So then I was pretty hooked, I suppose, and studied economics in year 11 and 12. At uni, I studied a double degree in law and commerce, majoring in economics. I leaned really heavily towards my law degree, which I think was because I could picture what a career as a lawyer might look like, but still had no clue what an economist does. So it was hard to picture, and I suppose I was just studying it out of interest. During uni, I did a lot of work experience at community legal centres. Over time, I started to realise that most of the people that we could help were all victims of very similar problems. And the types of things that we could do to help them at the legal centre was helping them with the the effect of those problems rather than dealing with the root cause. So after a while I realised I'd like a career that worked against those root causes and as I thought about it and the fact that they were things like unemployment or a lack of access to goods and services, I realised they were all basically economic problems. And so that's when I decided it was probably time to work out what an economist does and I applied for an internship at the Reserve Bank. That was fantastic and I came back here as a graduate the following year. I currently work in a team that analyses how businesses and banks are able to fund themselves. This is important, I suppose, because their ability to fund themselves and how easily and cheaply they can do so affects the goods and services that they can provide to everyday people. I'm currently studying a course on sustainable finance, which has really helped to open my eyes even further to all the possibilities of careers within economics. So sustainable finance is basically looking at how well our financial system is able to help us meet uh, environmental and other social objectives rather than just financial ones. I found this really inspiring to learn about all the things that economists and other people that work in finance have been able to do to help you know, the scientists and everyone else working against things like climate change. I think it's really inspiring to realise that you can help combat those issues even from a career like economics, which was something I hadn't realised before. I love that my job is all about learning new things and answering new questions. It's been a particularly interesting time to do that during the pandemic and realising that everyone around me also doesn't have the answers, I suppose. We're all learning about these new challenges as we go and it's been really inspiring to do that alongside them.